Peter, Jordan, congratulations, gentlemen. You're moving forward into the third and final round of our Forge of Fear competition. Now, in this last round, we're sending you back to your home forges to work on an iconic weapon from cinematic horror history. You're going to be building this. The Fireman's Axe. The Fireman's Axe is a weapon of choice for some of the most terrifying psychopaths in the horror genre. From Patrick Bateman in American Psycho to Jack Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Ironically, this notorious slasher was actually designed as a robust life-saving tool used by brave firefighters around the world. Featuring a strong, stout axe blade on one side and a sharp spike-like pick on the other, it's designed to break through doors and windows, pry through obstacles, and clear debris to rescue people trapped in raging fires. Gentlemen, you have four days to build your fireman's axes. Good luck. We'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Peter Farquhar. I'm 56 years old, and I took up bladesmithing when I was uh, 14 years old. My biggest concern is that I'm going to do something really stupid early on because I just had a brain fart. I'm going to try and forge it in one piece without a weld. It's time for me to go to a narrower chisel that can take uh, more manageable bites out of the steel. I'm going to flood it with brazing rod so we'll have a nice inlay effect. One side of the blade, I have a Chinese dragon in memory of my father. And on the other side, I did a Norse-style dragon in memory of my mother. Now I'm going to get the handle ready. Now my handle has developed a crack right up the middle. That's worrisome. The judges could give me a hard time. So the next thing I did was I made a brass ferrule that will hold everything together. Structurally, I'm not worried about it, but I am still upset with myself that I you know, made that little mistake. After that, I wanted to do something interesting with the handle, too. I wound up making a couple of branding irons and laying a scale pattern on by burning it in. I don't know if I'm going to win or not, but I know nobody is going to forget this thing. My name is Jordan Jackson. I'm from Rolton, North Carolina. I've been bladesmith for about eight years. I'm 32 years old. My son's 10 years old. He's made a few knives himself. He gave me very specific instructions to make sure that my blades met parameters. He told me not to quench it too hot. I've got my slot started there so I can drift out my handle hole. Going into the heat treat, I'm not really concerned about warps that much. My biggest concern is any of these forge welds wanting to pop loose. It's a very delicate process. Yeah, if the welds aren't successful, it's gonna have to go all the way back to square one and start all over. I go with the spike first, and then I flip it over and quench the blade. Oh, yeah. File skates, and it's absolutely beautiful. Wanted to add a little bit of design to the handle, so I did some tally marks for a body count. I think it's going to look cool. So I'm getting ready to put the axe head onto the handle. I slide it on there, tap it onto the handle to make sure that everything's set good. Cool. So now I want to go back on that hickory handle and sort of char it a little bit to make it look like it's a really old found murder weapon. So you don't see a Nats murderer walking around with a brand new ax that I just picked up at the hardware store. <laughs> look at that. I'm really happy with how that came out. Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. Today I'm going to take your weapon and fend it against this horned demon. Peter, your first. Shall we free it of its soul? Oh, please. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, Peter, let's talk about your axe here. The axe handle you have here is avoid enough to where I can get a very good grip in wielding this weapon. Your axe head is very sharp. More importantly, sir, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Jordan, you're up next. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Right, George, let's talk about your fireman's axe. 
I love the feel and the shape of your handle. The head you have here is heavier, so it really penetrates deep into this demon dummy. Your edge took no damage whatsoever. And I think now we can add another notch to your handle. Overall, sir, your fireman's axe, it will kill. Thanks, Doug. That's what I needed. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, Bladesmiths, welcome to our strength test, our horror door chop. Now, what the axes do to the door is secondary to what the door does to your axes, but regardless, it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Now, Peter, you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Becky, I'm home. All right, Peter, nice job. Everything's still tight. You got a couple little small splits there from wedging it. Your spike, still perfectly sharp. And same with your edge, still razor sharp. Good job. Thank you much. All right, Jordan, you're up. You ready to give this pup of a door its medicine? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Jordan, nice job. Uh, it's a much heavier axe, wider handle. Edge still razor sharp, nothing loosened up. Real nice job. Awesome, thanks. Bladesmiths, welcome to our sharpness test, the arm chop. Peter, you're up first. Are you ready, sir? I am ready. All right, let's have some hand chops. All right, Peter, sharp edges. And these are all very clean cuts, sir. Overall, your weapon, it will cut. Thanks, Tony. All right, Jordan, your turn, sir. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, Jordan, even though it's heavier, it is the weight that's expected of a fireman's ax because just let the weight fall into this and it cut cleanly on the arm. Overall, sir, your weapon, it will cut. Thanks, Doug. Well, gentlemen, we tried to scare you guys away in this Forge of Fear competition, but you both stood up and showed us you guys have the skills it takes to be here. But in this competition, only one of you guys will be going home with the title of Forge of Fire Champion and a check for $10,000. The judges had discussed it. It took a while, but they made a decision. Today's Forge of Fire Champion is... Jordan, congratulations. Now, Peter, you did a phenomenal job, but unfortunately, your blade's not gonna end up on the wall today, and Jay's gonna tell you why. Peter, you did a fantastic job, and you brought us an axe that I would take home and use in a heartbeat. But we have a handle issue. We do have a crack that goes all the way through. And Jordan's design is much closer to the example of the traditional fireman's axe, and that's why we didn't choose your weapon today. Now, Peter, you crushed it in the first couple rounds of this competition, and you did phenomenally well in the last round. But unfortunately, the time this competition has ended, I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. Great work. job, Peter. Fantastic right, you great job, man. If I had another piece of wood lying around, I would have junked the handle and started over right then. But I respect the decision they made. Jordan, congratulations, man. That means you are the champion of Forge of Fire, and you just won yourself a check for $10,000. Congratulations. 
I'm super proud of what I was able to accomplish and you know, I just wanted to make my family and my community proud. That thing is a beast. My name is Jordan Jackson and I'm the Forge and Fire Champion.